Get up there. That boy, that's a good boy. My name is Clay Newcomb and I'm the publisher of Bear Hunting Magazine. This week and next week, we're gonna be talking about land management for black bear. I've got a strategy that I'm gonna share with you that I think is gonna help me in Oklahoma and it involves a redneck blind for absolute scent containment when hunting big bears. Jed, I don't even think the people missed us last week on the fishing vlog when we didn't do the intro, outro, and heart to heart with Jed. What do you think? I see it in your eyes. You're thinking about fatherhood. You're thinking about how you're gonna provide for those pups. You're thinking about will you be a good father? You're thinking about the sacrifice. You're thinking, am I gonna be able to transfer my value system to these kids? You're thinking, are they gonna grow up and be hunters? I see it in your eyes. Hey, I've got an idea for all of you guys. Join the movement and become a subscriber to Bear Honey Magazine. We're the only print bear honey magazine in the world. We've been in print for over 18 years. We're the bear hunting authority. We're Jedi approved. Right, Jed? It's July 23rd. Me and these boys are headed into Oklahoma. We're gonna be doing some land improvement for the sole purpose of bear hunting. In Oklahoma, you can hunt bear over bait in four counties on private land. And I am going to be putting up a redneck blind in a place where we feel like we've got some good bears coming in for the sole purpose of scent control when it comes to hunting these bears over bait. These big bears will be coming to bait, but when you're hunting there, they won't show up. They're, they're scent checking these baits. They know when you're there. They just don't come in. Now you could kill a, a lesser bear without much problem, but, uh, but oh, we gotta stop at the post office. We gotta mail bear hunting magazine. Package. To do to order a shirt. Here we are. Order shirts from us. This is a real deal. This week we're in Oklahoma and we're building a road so that we can get our redneck blind back in where we're baiting bears. Where's Jet? I don't know, probably back answering calls at the office. <laughs> Why don't you go up with Papa and help him drag brush? Me and Bear are gonna work down here, okay? You can come back down here in a minute. Here, boys, this is what we're doing, is we gotta get an 18 foot trailer up this bank. So what we have to do is cut this bank down, cut these trees down, I'll pull them down with a tractor, and we're gonna drag this road back over here and make this a real smooth transition up into our interstate highway over here. That's what we're doing. I've made it a priority in my life to bring my kids with me whenever possible on whatever type of outing. Kids need life interpreted for them by parents. We make these work days a lot of fun, but we also include a lot of good old fashioned learning and hard work. Mission complete. Now we ought to be able to get that trailer up here with that redneck blind kill a big old bear up on the hill. If only Jed were here. We're working with my grandpa today and he's kind of a wild man so you never know what to expect out of him. 
we needed to get this blind into a secluded location on this private land. To do it, we needed to build a fairly substantial road. Bait site placement is critical when baiting black bears. In next week's vlog, we'll go into detail of what we're looking for when we're placing a bait. For now, it's all about the logistics and hard work of building this road and getting a blind in there. To me, it's always a treat to just be in bear country. I love it over here. It was a coyote. They are supposed to be working. Hey man, this is the way we work. This is hard. We think it's hot. the tree is out of the ground. Right, Papa? Mm -hmm. You think the tree's out of the ground? Mm -hmm. We tried to think that one out and it never would come, so we gave up. Thanks for joining the conservation this week. Join us next week and you'll see us install this redneck blind and talk about what we're looking for for bait site placement for black bear. Keep the wild places wild because that's where the bears live. Right, Jed? Let's go. Come on. Come on.